Hello teachers, I am teacher Danny from Fun and Learning Blog and today I'll share to you a Google Slide extension that can be used to make interactive presentations and at the same time you can access your learner's progress using the slide you created as if you're making presentation and test paper all in one. Are you ready for this new teaching and assessment technique? Woo! Now come and join me in this e-guide session. In this video, we will be exploring Peer Deck. Peer Deck slides help you engage every student in every home at their very own seat and give formative assessments no matter what grade or subject you teach. You can use Peer Deck within PowerPoint, online, or Google Slide, but instead of simply presenting informational slides, Peer Deck makes your slide interactive so every student can respond to your questions or prompts right on their own mobile or desktop screens. Now, here are five simple steps on how to use Peer Deck. Step one is to open any presentation, whether in Google Slides or PowerPoint Online. But in this session, I prefer to use Google Slides. Basically, you just need to create a presentation that will become the workspace for your students. So simply add the prompts. Uh, questions, images, etc. You want your students to see using the editing tools in either program to fully customize the slides. Now here's an example of Google Slide. And for step two, this is to create your Peer Deck account with Google or Microsoft Office 365 email addresses. And here's the catch. To get Peer Deck, if you create your account with Google email address, you can get the Peer Deck for Google Slides add-on. But if you create your account with a Microsoft 365 email address, you can get the Peer Deck for PowerPoint Online add-in. But please note that Peer Deck is only available in the online version of PowerPoint at this time. Step 3 is to get Peer Deck add-ons. To do that in Google Slides, simply go to Add-ons. And Peer Deck usually pops up right here. But if it doesn't, you can search for Peer Deck and press Install. Then there's authentication process needed. But after you've done this process, the Peer Deck add-on will be right here in your Google Slide add-on menu. Now on the right side of your screen, you can see the Peer Deck library. You can add pre-made slide templates or customize your interactive slides. So simply scroll through the Peer Deck sidebar to find these options. Now we have here lesson builders for beginning of your lesson, during the lesson, and at the end of the lesson. These are quite helpful. There are also prepared sample slides for various levels like kindergarten and subjects like mathematics, science, social studies, languages, and many others. So when you want to make an interactive slide, um, let's try to pick a random question here in the beginning of your lesson. So when you want to make a slide just like this, all you have to do is to edit the text or the images within your canvas. So instead of saying homework, we could say what did you learn from module 1 like that. Now you can see an instruction below where students need to write answer on the slides remove this portion because this indicates that the slide is working. Now there are many ready-made slides here but let's say you want to make an original one so let's try to add multiple choice for example. In here you can create true or false or multiple choice question. Then you'll see the percentage of the students who answered in each choice. Let's have a ready-made one. Let's say your lesson is about animals and the question is what do you call a baby goat? So simply click choice here, then input your choices here. Let's place the options we have. A for cub, B for 
Kid, C Pop, and D Chick in the option. Now, if you have premium account, you can let your student draw and try the drag and drop functions. Now, here are sample slides prepared for our science class. Now, the step four is presenting your slides in class. Now, to present your slides, simply click the green start lesson in the tier deck sidebar and start collecting their answers. Now, in collecting the responses, you have two options. First, you can start student paste, meaning this can be answered asynchronously or in any time the student wants, whether at the first hour in the morning or in the afternoon. Or this can be started live during your synchronous sessions. Now, when you're ready, simply click any of the buttons here on Peer Deck. Let's try to click Synchronous or Live Peer. Then a code will appear and simply select Give Students Link and then forward this link to your students. If you would like to do this activity asynchronously, simply click Student Paste. Then instantly, the link code will pop up here. Then just simply click Copy. Or if not, you may simply click the join code on the upper right corner here, search for copy link, or you directly share this to your Google Classroom if you have one. For student pace, I suggest you give them deadline or time limit in answering the activity. For example, you may state on your presentation that this is a two-day activity and so on. So let's say you are the students and you were given the link. And the first thing they need to do is click the link, register their email account, and start answering. So let's try to answer the one that we prepared a while ago as if we are one of the students. Let's try to answer this. Let's key in first our name, our grade level, and then what did you learn? I learned about animals and their habitat and animals have families just like us then let's proceed to the next slide simply here there's a multiple choice here the one we did a while ago so the answer is b kid now let's draw the food eaten by a goat students can be creative on this part they can mix and match colors etc they can add so many things by simply scribbling on the canvas you have or you prepared the next slide is drag and drop where we're going to drag and drop this red icon to where the goat lives and there we're done so let's check the last slide and affix our signature these are just sample activities that we can do. And the last step, step five, is to review your students' responses. Now, at the end of a session, you may export students' answer to a Google Sheet or manually check their answers on the teacher's dashboard view here. Let's see their answers in each slide. This is the first slide where you can see their names, then your multiple choice question. Then, here's their drawing and the drag and drop activity and the last slide. Now, if there are more than one student answers in a slide, answers will appear just like this one. So again, we can find this on the teacher's dashboard view. Simply click that one. Now, all students can review their responses by reopening a session in the projector or dashboard view from the sessions menu so that's it i hope in this video sharing you have been inspired to create your own presentations and uh, customize activities for your students so what are you waiting for start your presentation slash test papers now and share them to your students bye